you want to be able to copy and paste several things at once, or maybe there's like a link or something that you find yourself typing over and over again. Well, here's an application that's going to make life a whole lot easier for you. Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, CJ. In this video, I'm going to review an application called iClip. There it is, iClip. What iClip does, it allows you to copy several things and store those things that you copied so you can paste them later down the road if you need them. Let's open it up, check it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you see, iClip puts this little icon up in your menu bar. You see this little man up here in the menu bar. This is iClip. Now, let's click that. Now, you see these little bins. These are where you store the information that you want to copy and paste for later. Give you an example, like let's go to this one here. In this bin, it's my Twitter. Now if you notice in the description of all my videos pretty much it says, you know, follow me on Twitter. Since I'm always pasting that, I just gotta put follow me on Twitter, bam, there's the link. It's always there and I can always get to it quickly. Uh, also this one, I have people asking where do I get my folders down here in my dock. Well, there I copied it this is the link on where to get my folders. So it just give you an idea of how iClip works. It's beautiful. I, you got to love it. I love it. So let me give you a quick example. For starters, let's go to the preferences. Now when you open up preferences, this is what it looks like on the appearance. Now you can have iClip on top or you can put on the side, the bottom, anywhere you pretty much want it, you can put iClip. Uh, bin style, you can have circles, small, medium, large, or you can have squares. Show iClip in menu bar, which I do. And transparency, you can have it max or none. I have mine set on none. Miscellaneous, automatically open iClip when you log in. I do not use this because I don't use iClip all the time, so I don't want it on all the time. But the options there if you choose. Uh, record clipboard changes. Everything you copy to the clipboard is automatically stored in a special clip set named Recorder. And I used to use this, but I stopped using it because, like it says, it was it was storing every little thing that I was copying. And uh, I don't need it to store everything, just the things that I like. So, hotkeys. Now this I do use. If you notice, I do have the one hotkey uh, set up here for show and hide. And I have for have it set for option C. So when I hit option C, you see it goes away. Or option C. And I chose option C because command C is copy, command V is paste. So option C is just great. And it just makes it easier. Hot clicks. Click the bin. That's one I have it set for. You can hold cursor over the bin or you can click the bin. And this is just to see what's in your bin. So like if you set it for hold cursor over the bin. If I hold it there with the bin, you see it pops up and I can see what's in there. But like I said, I have it set for click the bin because it's just a little bit quicker. I can click it and bam, it's done. So that's the way I got mine set. Uh, create new text clip and empty bin or you can do all kinds of stuff. Edit, cli edit clip text, internet address. So if I hold command and click it, then I can edit it if I need to. Or I could just double click it and it will send me directly to that website if that's what's in there. So that's pretty much what the preferences look like. Now let me give you an example of how iClips work. So I'm going to hit option C. I'm going to close it. Let's go to internet page. This is the Apple page. Now you see up here in the address bar. If I highlight this, then I can just open up my eye clip and you see this little arrow going up on the bin on an empty bin if I click that there it just stored that address as you see apple.com forward slash start page now if I if I want to paste this somewhere I can also do that as well so let's go back and we'll open say text edit so now that we've opened text edit, we'll open up iClip again. Now, here's what we just copied. Apple.com start page. Oops. 
Now, if I click the arrow going down, there, it automatically put it on the text edit. Same thing with everything else. I can click the arrow going down, and it will print it, twitter.com. Speaking of which, follow me on Twitter. Anyways, so, shameless plug, I know. So, anyways, that's iClip. That's how it works. It's a great copy and paste tool. It's beautiful, and it just makes life so, so much easier. Unfortunately, it is not free. It is $29, and uh, but if you buy it from Mac Update, you save $9, which means it's only $20. So check it out. You'll love it. I love it. It comes in very, very handy, very useful, and that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. Rate and comment. Subscribe to my new channel, CJ's Mac World, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Thank you.